debt shame. Let's talk about it. So the biggest thing that is going on for most people's belief systems right now is that debt equals shame. Debt is bad and wrong. Whereas in my opinion, when used resourcefully, it's true frequency for your growth and expansion. This support money enables you to grow and shift light years ahead instead of the alternative, which would be for most people saving dollar for dollar and waiting years to work with that mentor that they love or start the business of their dreams or go into the life changing retreat or doing that personal development course. And instead we buy into the belief that being financially responsible means to save dollar for dollar and do it the safe, logical, linear way when I have the money, don't get into more debt. And what I found is if we've used support money, debt, loans, credit cards in the past to buy things that weren't growth driven, like luxuries or holidays or buying a car or material items, this is why most people can experience a block around using support money to invest in themselves because they've used it as an instant gratification tool for things they don't really need and they're still trying to pay that off. And when we use it, as an instant gratification tool instead of an investment tool, often there'll be guilt and shame attached to it because that's the programming within humanity and we get sucked into being shamed. So let's actually look at aligned investing. I find it hilarious that we are so willing, we are so programmed that locking ourselves into a 30 year mortgage to purchase an investment of bricks and cement and land is totally acceptable, totally cool. In fact, it's responsible, right? It's totally cool to be in a $1 million debt for a house, but to invest in me, to invest in myself, to invest in the invisible, my mindset, my energetics, ooh, that's risky because there's no guarantee on the return on investment. And I wanna call BS on that. You are your best bet. And if anything, what this economic crisis and what's going on in the world right now cements even further into my belief system is that I know that I'm my greatest return on investment. I put a bet on me, me, I'm a guarantee. Not the stock market, not the property market, not my super fund, me. I invest in me and as a result, I evolve and my container for abundance expands exponentially and my business expands and appreciates with my next level skills and growth and next level consciousness. And so here is where there's an even a further mismatch that could be blocking the flow of clients, of sales um, into your business. For you to have a shift into your next level money goal, would it be accurate to say that you need more clients? Yes? Now imagine if all these new leads, potential clients, potential people joining your business, imagine if they all had the same block around using finance and said, oh, I don't feel comfortable in doing this. I'm freaking out about the investment. Maybe I'll save for it. I'll come back to you in six months. I'll come back to you in a year. I'll come back to you when I start making the money, when I start making the sales, which is a catch 22 in itself, right? And what I'm trying to land here is, if you yourself are freaking out about investing in your business and in your growth, how can you possibly shift your future clients into saying yes for themselves? It all starts with us. We need to walk our talk. Otherwise, we're going to be out of integrity and this is going to be a block in sales, a huge block in your sales. And for some of you watching this video right now, you're wanting to really play a bigger game, right? Than you're currently playing. You're wanting to hit that next level of income. So tune in. If you're not comfortable facing your big, huge business and money vision, how are you meant to be attracting in the people who are? Put simply, we always get a reflection of what we give ourselves. And if we're not willing to give to ourselves, then the universe is gonna reflect that back to you. And this is one of the biggest blocks slash biggest breakthroughs available to people right now that are wanting to shift into their next level of income goals right now. And full transparency doesn't mean that it's gonna be comfortable. It's gonna feel stretchy. It's gonna mean that you're gonna to have to have more faith than ever before, more belief and more certainty and more knowing in your vision than you ever have before. 
If I've triggered you, I'm sorry, I love you. And if I've inspired you, go reach out to that mentor, that program, that up level in your skill set. Whatever it is that you've been thinking about doing for a while, that thing that excites you, that thing that you know is gonna get you to that next level, do it. I dare you to reach out. I dare you to invest in you, knowing deep down you are your best bet. You are your greatest asset. You are more valuable than any physical, tangible thing external to you. I promise. If you found this video valuable, I'd love for you to comment below what your biggest takeaway was. I love you and remember, your vibe attracts it all. Mwah.